Meet the eye motif. Aussie scientists just found something new, cool, and rather obscure about our genetic blueprint. Research published in the journal Nature Chemistry details a new type of DNA structure named the eye motif. Here's the knot-like structure again. What's interesting about it is how it's built. Normal DNA is made up of bases coded as letters. These are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. These all bind to another letter except in the I motif where they don't. Normally, cytosine binds to guanine and vice versa, but in the new structure, cytosine was found to pair with cytosine. And that has researchers puzzled as to what that means, but they do have some ideas. According to The Independent, scientists reckon the new structure may be partly responsible for reading DNA and turning them into useful substances. Gizmodo reports they may act as a sort of switch for controlling gene expression, but could mean nothing at all. The Independent reports that the structure has been cited previously, but this is the first time researchers have found it inside living cells. One thing's for sure, our bodies are a whole lot more complicated than we realize. Genetically speaking, are humans next? China successfully cloned monkeys using transfer DNA, marking the first time such a feat has been achieved and possibly paving the way for human cloning. Scientists in Shanghai have cloned two genetically identical macaques using the same technique that produced Dolly the sheep. Somatic cell nuclear transfer involves taking the nucleus of a cell, which contains its genetic material, and injecting it into an egg that has had its own nucleus removed. The egg cell is then treated with enzymes to stimulate embryo development, just like a naturally fertilized egg. In all, the researchers created 109 embryos and implanted them into 21 surrogate monkeys, resulting in six pregnancies, but only two live births. The macaques named Zhongzhong Zhong and Hua Hua aren't the first primates to be cloned, though. That distinction belongs to Tetra, a rhesus monkey created using a simpler embryo-splitting method. The Chinese team believes the monkey clones could be useful in medical research, specifically in the study of genetic diseases like Parkinson's or autism. Identical twins, unidentical, after one spends a year in space. This is Mark and Scott Kelly, both NASA astronauts and identical twins. Well, at least they used to be. Following his year in space, scientists compared the DNA and RNA of Scott Kelly with his identical twin brother Mark via whole genome sequencing. They found that 7% of Kelly's DNA had changed into so-called space genes. As well as that, his immune system, bone formation, and eyesight all went under changes during his year in space. Telomeres, caps on chromosomes, typically shorten as a person ages. Kelly's lengthened but returned to normal two days after he returned to Earth in 2016. So, given a chance, would you spend any time in space? The future of data storage. Humanity is producing data at an exponential rate, prompting scientists to seek out storage systems that can keep up. Data is commonly archived using magnetic tape, which can hold as much as a terabyte per roll up to 30 years. But conventional storage capabilities may not be sufficient for long. Microsoft is now looking to DNA as a means to store digital data. DNA is more dense and can hold a quintillion bytes of information in one cubic millimeter. In its demonstration project in 2016, the company managed to encode 100 literary classics, or roughly 200 megabytes of data, into the four bases of DNA. But with the technology still in the early stages, converting digital bits into DNA code remains both slow and expensive. Microsoft aims to have a DNA storage system in place for at least one application in three years. The ambitious end game, however, is for DNA to be the go-to for data archiving. How to edit genetics without changing DNA. Scientific brilliance coming out of the MIT Harvard Broad Institute may one day better the lives of millions. DNA directs protein on how to build cells via RNA. A new study, published in the journal Science, details how DNA instructions can be chemically altered via edits to information in the RNA. The DNA remains unchanged, while proteins build cells based on the edited instructions. The method is not ready for human trials, but could one day help those suffering from degenerative diseases.